All right, what we're going to do today is we're going to solve an inequality on your ins on your Inspire, a quadratic inequality. And to do that, uh, we're just going to graph this guy on your Inspire. And then we're going to look for the place where the graph is greater than or equal to zero. In other words, where is it above the x-axis? So to do that, all we're going to do is we're going to go to your Inspire. We're going to find where the graph crosses the x-axis, and we're going to look at the graph and see where it's above there. So uh, go ahead and choose to uh, open a new document. If you've got any material in there, you usually don't want to save it. Sometimes you do. And uh, we're going to add a calcul We're going to add a graph. Go ahead and type in what your equation is. And look at your graph. And usually the Inspire will give you a good window for viewing your graph. Uh, very seldom is the window not very good. And if it isn't, hit the menu key. Choose to go to the window zoom. Choose window settings. And you can alter all the settings to match them up with whatever you need. Okay? Uh, and so our window's fine. We can see where this graph crosses the x-axis. And to find those points, hit the menu key. Choose to analyze the graph and choose to find the zero. That's where you're going across the x-axis. Mouse the cursor to the left of that left-hand intercept. Click the middle button, click enter. And mouse to the right of that left-hand intercept and click enter. And it gives you a zero, a zero of negative 1.76. So over here, we're going to say that x equals... x equals negative uh, 1.76. Okay? And then do the same exact thing again for the right hand uh, endpoint. So we'll go to menu, go to analyze graph, choose zero, and start from the left hand side of that intercept and go to the right hand side. And then what value do we get? We get the value. 0.758. Now, the part of the graph that we're really interested in is the part of the graph that's above the x-axis. So, let's look at this guy. Here's my graph. And we're, we're really interested in the part of the graph above x. We're interested in, in this part that's up here, above x. Well, where, where does this graph go above x? It goes above x at... So the answer for this guy, the solution for this guy, is going to be at the points where we're above the x-axis. Well, that occurs at your x-intercept of negative 1.76 and x-intercept of... 0.758 and where in but you know it's it's greater than not in between okay because that's where the graph is below the x-axis but over here on the edges where the graph actually gets above the x-axis so our solution for this uh, one way we could write it would be from negative infinity to negative 1.76 or from 0.758 To infinity. And so, uh, and, and these endpoints are included, so we could use brackets if we wanted to, but that's where you, that's where you get this stuff from. Uh, the other way that you, we would write it, which is the way that you're probably going to be most comfortable with, is that x has to be less than or equal to negative 1.76, and x is greater than or equal to 0.758. So, this is your answer for that guy. It's, it's really, it's not that bad. We're just looking, where is this graph above or where is it below the x-axis?